Kenya and Israel will work together to eliminate trade barriers between the two countries. President William Ruto and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that there exists huge potential between the two countries. He said that the absence of direct flights between Kenya and Israel is a serious impediment that continues to hamper trade as well as tourism. Here's that report. President Ruto made the remarks on Tuesday when he met the Prime Minister of Israel at his office in Jerusalem. The president said the review of the bilateral air services agreement gives Kenya Airways and El Al, the flag carrier of Israel, an opportunity to elevate their operations. The president said it was time Kenya-Israel cooperation was enhanced due to the subpar trade volumes. Today, Kenyan exports to Israel are worth 1.1 billion shillings, while imports from Israel amount to 7.5 billion shillings a year. Earlier, President Ruto met his Israel counterpart, Isaac Herzog, at his residence in Jerusalem, where they agreed to expand Kenya-Israel cooperation. Meanwhile, President Ruto, in the company of the first lady Rachel Ruto, planted a tree at the Grove of Nations in Jerusalem Forest, Israel. Uh, we are working with other partners and hopefully we can learn some experiences from Israel and from Jerusalem on how best we can actualize our aspiration to plant 15 billion trees in Kenya as we support the environmental conservation exercise that goes on everywhere in the world. Earlier on, they toured the Yad Vashem, the World Holocaust Remembrance Center, and laid a wreath in the Hall of Remembrance. They also laid a wreath at Theodore Hell's grave in Mount Hell's in memory of the Austrian Jewish journalist and playwright best known for his role in the establishment of modern Israel. For Prime Edition, I am Teresa Mutai.